Hey guys, Nick Stocker with Demonic Procedures here with another tutorial for the UDK. Uh, we're going to be importing a static mesh today from Lightwave to the UDK. Uh, a lot of people have had issues with this and tried different plugins and stuff like that. Um, I finally got it to work myself using just basic Lightwave exporter and stuff like that. No plugins, no nothing, and it got the UVs transferred over really nicely. So I did this uh, really corny cereal box I found online. Just did a box and UV'd it and everything like that to get this uh, laid out. If I jump over to the UDK, you can actually see my cereal box right here. And you could pro probably also see I was doing um, I was doing some testing with other stuff. This is like a really poorly UV'd um, cannon. But if I were to actually lay the UVs out right, it would work. And then over here I have a glass cup that I just used the... Um, uh, a material I found somewhere in the UDK for glass and just kind of threw it on there. Okay, so um, getting this out. Uh, it can be kind of tricky, and what you want to do is uh, we're going to hit F5 to bring up our surface editor, and you can see here, let me uh, close out some objects I have open. I have some other open stuff. Let me close this out so it doesn't get too confusing. Don't save. Go to this one. File, close object. Okay, so you can see here in my surface editor I have uh, my cereal box and I only have one material which is kind of important. Um, under the color I have my uh, projection for UV, my UV map that I'm using, uh, cereal, and then uh, my image is serialtexture.tga. Um, so after I laid out the UVs and you can see here, cereal, and if I select this hopefully should I, I gotta go over here to my texture tab, cereal. If I take this off, man, you can see here I have my UVs laid out here. <clears throat> so now we're going to talk about how do we get this out. Well, you have your geometry, you have it UV'd, um, and you have it centered here on the uh, thing, which mine isn't really centered right now, so bam. All right, now it's centered. Um, I could center it with the F2, but that's going to put the, um, wherever uh, the origin is, that's where the widget's going to show up. Uh, so I want the, <clears throat> sorry. I want the origin to be at the bottom of the box. I'm using F3 and then hitting in the Y axis and we'll rest it basically on the, on the floor there. All right, so I have my cereal box. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit Shift T. That's gonna triangulate my geometry because UDK only works with triangles. It doesn't work with uh, quads. And basically that was the biggest problem I had. Like I kept importing and importing. I wasn't triangulating cause, because UDK would triangulate it for me when I export it and I thought that would be fine, but it wasn't. You have to triangulate or else it won't work. So if I go to export, I go to Colada. That's what you want, Colada. Um, I'll name it Serial Box uh, Tut for tutorial. And you have to add dot D E or D uh, D A E at the end of that, or else it's not going to import right. You have to add that to the end. Uh, don't think the program's going to add it for you because it won't. So we'll save that out. And now we're going to go into UDK. I'm going to open up my content browser here, and I already have a package here for it's called My Package. And I have a cereal box texture that I already have in here, so I'll just use that. I won't go through importing my own texture and stuff because I already have it. Um, so I'm going to go to import at the bottom. I'm going to go find my cereal box tut. Bam, right there. I'm going to put it in my package. I'm going to put it in the static mesh uh, group. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to select mesh object there and hit OK again. So now I have my cereal box and if you come in here you can see that it has UVs laid out or it has it actually got my geometry pretty good um, so all I need to do now is under the uh, LOD info uh, you're gonna go bring all this stuff down and under material I'm going to go into uh, my content browser select my material which will be under material select my cereal box and I'll just push that over or push that over I don't know why I have two materials there I only had one in uh, Lightwave it uh, doesn't really matter. Anyways, um, there's my box textured inside of um, UDK, and it went straight from Lightwave uh, with no problems. It's, so you can see here it's 12 triangles, 35 verts. Add some 6 DOP collision because it's just a box. Uh, if I view my collision, you can see that that is... Oh, shit. Oh, come on. I'm going too fast, too fast. If I view my collision, and I, th I think I may have forgot to scale this before I brought it in, but we'll find out. Anyways, now I should see it in here right here yeah I didn't scale it so it's gonna come in super tiny but I can blow it up once I get it in here so it's there it's just ridiculously tiny because I didn't scale it up right but you can see now the um oops. let's uh, scale this up to uh, 25 yeah big old cereal box but you can see now that my um 
And actually, I think my, uh, no, it's not, it's right, it's on. Yeah, so you can see now that the widget is in the middle, and it's at the very bottom of the box. And I have my cereal box in here. Um, obviously, next time I'm going to pay attention to what I'm doing and make sure I'm not doing a 50 centimeter box. Usually, I don't know, like UDK blows the crap out of stuff. And I haven't really been able, and since um, Lightwave uses real units, like as in feet and inches and stuff like that, I haven't really found any kind of uh, scale stuff, but you uh, can put, might be able to find something online for it. Um, but there you go, I have my, um, my cereal box all textured and good to go. And if I rebuild this, collecting some scene data. Okay, blah, 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 close all this out, come in here. And I may have put it like right on top of where I'm spawning here. Oh, I forgot to save my package. That's why it's not showing up. Save the package. Right now I'm right clicking and choosing save package. I just realized that when I right click on stuff and it brings up those side menus, you guys can't see that on the tutorial. So that's fun. And there we go. Big old box of cereal. Flip over cutouts. What fun. I have my cup here, which I made a dynamic object, which is funny because now I can touch it and it goes flying across the room. All right, guys. Uh, that's all I have to show you for now. Have fun. My name is Nick Stalker. I'm with Demonic Procedures. Thanks for watching. Just remember, the demon's inside.